Brother, sister, the celestial energy, brother wisdom. I'm going to be real quick about this here. Quick message here. Okay. Um, everything that you learning, everything that you are learning, you're being pruned for war. Okay. Everything that you're learning, you're being pruned for war. War is coming to us as the original being, the golden race. Okay. Because they know who we are. All right. As you can see right now, they wrote the book of Revelation. They wrote this Bible. This is their plans that they have. And they talked about how the beast shall give power over to the dragon. The beasts of the Saxons, the dragons are the Orientals. And look how all of these uh, so-called countries or corporations are now pulling away from the so-called American dollar and tagging on to China. So they say, so they say, because they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to push out the agenda of, and, and uh, of the so-called end times. And they literally in that book called the Bible, they literally excluded us from everything, but they did say in so many ways and the Christ came and warred against all nations and the Christ. And who are we? We the Christ. The Christ. The Christ is an energy. The Christ is a people. The Christ is the golden race. And you being pruned for war. Okay. Um, I did that little short thing with telekinesis. And I was talking about, you know, we were talking about 100% brain power. We're going to go into some other herbs as far as 100% brain power, I hope you guys have studied oh, other herbs and not sitting up waiting on me. All right. So by the time I do do the message on the different other different herbs, you will already be uh, uh, well uh, 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 abreasted on that subject. OK, um, I did the one little thing, telekinesis with the crystal wand and you know, it's, this is something that we've got to build ourselves back up into. And I did the one video last night talking about the, um, the lightsabers, you know, quantum mechanics, the lightsabers and how the lightsabers literally, uh, these were devices. Hold on here. Okay. I'm back. <clears throat> Uh, let me see what was I saying. What was I? These are devices. The the lightsabers. These are devices that um the energy came from our bodies, okay, and literally it was the pure plasma energy that rose up through this device. It was the energy from our bodies that 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 caused the lightsaber to grow. All right. Now another thing I want to talk about was is what they call the magic wand. All right. We use the wand with the wand. We had several diff different types of wands. All right. You saw the crystal wand that I used the other night and we had the wand that's made of wood. All right. You had different types of woods and each wood has a different type of frequency. All right. This right here is oak. All right. So you can fashion this up. You can take this, uh, you take this, uh, copper or whatever you take the copper wire and, you know, uh, wrap it carefully around the oak. And, but the, the, and, 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 and you can have a powerful weapon. Okay. But the whole key point is, it's not the wood. That's the weapon It's you that creates the weapon through the wood. This is a powerful weapon. And you think about Harry Potter and you don't want to do the Harry Potter spells. This, this, this some weak ass spells, you know, the, the weak ass expecto patramas, you know, which basically means uh, a guardian awaits, you know, espiliamas, you know, you know, you don't No, Those are weak spells. You have to go deep and do within you and pull those dragon spells out, those ancient uh, uh, sorcerer spells. And you think about what you want done and you watch it manifest within seconds. 
you are being pruned for war. Okay? So, this is the importance of you always make sure you're doing your chi exercise. Take out some time. If you just take out five minutes a day. Five minutes a day makes a big difference. All right? Five minutes a day makes a big difference. You put it on a timer and do your chi exercises. You're going to do tai chi exercises. How are you going to do your meditation? It's important because this is your inner energy that you're building up. This is your power that you're building up. This is your force that you are literally pruning. Because we're going to be going to war very soon. These beings are literally going to begin attacking us on point. What do you think this whole thing about Prince Charles being crowned? Come on now. They're all working together. We're the only beings who are not working together. We're taking every other side except for our own side. All right. And we have allowed ourselves to be pulled away thinking that these alien motherfuckers are going to like us, are going to honor us. We're trying to we're trying to run after the money and the money is not trying to run after us. And that's that's the fucked up part about it. So we're literally going to have to prepare ourselves for the war that is coming for us. And these beings want to war against us because they want this realm. They want what we have. They want to have ownership. The first thing the first thing they did was in in uh, um long ago and when we said this land is ours, they say, do you have any paperwork to show for it? That's what they said. You have any paperwork? Because if you don't have any paperwork, then it doesn't belong to you. That's what they said. And they know that we are the original inhabitants. They know it belongs to us, but they want us to play their game. And if we don't have any paperwork, then that means that they want us to get some money and buy it from them. But at the same time, they want to say, well, you got to pay us taxes on this land. As if you don't pay us taxes, we're going to take it back. All right. So um, this is like a, a, a way to wrap up your wand here. All right. You can do it all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top there. So the key point is that we must understand that these beings want to war against us. So the energy from our bodies all right, extend through the wands. This is oak. Oak has a high frequency. Um, I was trying to look up the frequency of the different woods, and it's like they don't want to show you the frequency of the woods. But I know holly has the highest, is the highest known frequency, the holly tree. All right, so if you can get um, wood from a holly tree and prune it, and put your essence inside of it. Because it's a certain thing. You have to put your essence inside of it. You have to. Get this thing pruned to you. All right. Like they showed you on Harry Potter. They said oh yeah this wood. This, this wand was meant for you. It was coming to you. Why? No no. You got to prune it. All right. You have holly. You have oak. You have pine. Which is. Very low vibrational, but no, uh, it's in the middle top, middle area because pine is, is, is got some heavy vibrations because pine is known to, um, pine is known to absorb sound. Pine also absorbs sunlight and, uh, it can be a, it can work as a solar station if it's, uh, created the right way. So pine is a high vibrational wood. All the woods are the high, high vibration, but you have oak, you have walnut, you have pine, you have pecan, you have holly, you got poplar, there's redwood. Um, what else you got? Um, you have uh, olive, you have the apple, you have the pear, you have the orange. Okay. All these different trees, these different woods, they carry different vibrations. Now there are there are trees that have been destroyed by these Saxons. They do have the seeds, and these trees were noted. These are huge trees that were noted that um, 
uh, had gateways inside of them. And we literally went through those gateways in the trees. And these Saxons later destroyed all of those, uh, all of those species of different trees that you could go through the gateways. Okay. So, um, so we have to use other, tr other trees now. So what happens is your energy that was, is within you goes through the wood. You must feel your energy, all right? Feel your energy going through the wood. Feel the energy rise up through your hands. It'll be a pulsating feeling. It's a pulsating feeling, and you feel it, and it's going through the wood, all right? And you, this is how you send the energy. And you have to use um, the spoken word. Hirata, Hirzako, Radu, Uniaka, Ratuma, Uniaka, Uratawa, Maki, Uriata, 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 This is a weapon in your highest level of energy. Now, you don't have to use words I use. You go by your energy. Each one of us have a different type of energy. All right? Just like the, yesterday we talked about how the different energies, the winds, the, the energy of the wind is different from the energy of the dirt. The energy of the, each flower has its own energy. The rose and the jasmine don't have the same energy. See what I'm saying? The hibiscus and the, um, and the dandelion, completely different energies. Completely, they're, they're all different energies. So everything here on this realm, even though they may be somewhat of a similar species to each other, they have different energies. The red rose and the pink rose are completely different in energies and frequencies and vibrations. The white rose and the red rose are different. See what I'm saying? This, this is how it works. All right. So the different trees and you get the branches from the different trees and you can go to a wood, you can go to a wooded area and get all kind of different branches from the trees and you wrap them up and then you put your essence over. You hold it. So this is just a tree, just this is the branch, just the way it is right here. And you hold it. And you want to be able to allow your energy breathe deeply, breathe deeply and feel your energy go into this branch. You might have to hold one hand down to the ground if you want to and and you want to just slightly bend your knees so you should be grounded. You don't want to be standing straight up. You want to slightly bend your knees so you can be grounded. And, you, and you'll feel that energy moving through your hand and moving through the wood. You feel it. And this is your weapon because we're spiritual beings. This is why we're talking about 100% brain power. Be careful what you eat, what you drink. It, it affects this right here. This gut right here, what you put in your gut affects this right here. You put dead flesh in this gut, this can't operate at full capacity. You must eat hollow food. That's your fruits, vegetables, your nuts, your grain. They're hollow foods. Your beans, they're hollow foods. I know there's some talking about, oh, beans has got acid. Your whole body is full of acids. You got hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Come on now. You got, your, your blood has got a certain level of acid in it. Your saliva has got acid in it. Seriously, your saliva. That's how it breaks down the food before it gets to the stomach. So you got acids all over your body. Just like you got mucus all throughout your body as well. 
how you think your, your lungs operate in your stomach. You got a shitload of mucus in your stomach just to make sure that that hydrochloric acid doesn't um, penetrate the, the lining of your stomach organ. You got mucus all in, inside of your lungs. You got mucus all inside of your body. Your body is made of mucus and acids. All right. So all these people talk about, oh, yeah, this this beings cause acid, this and this and got this. No, your body is full of acids. You got so many different fucking acids in your body. It's crazy. We are organic machines. All right. <laughs> but we work on alkaline energy. All right. So you drink the alkaline water and the pH balance or whatever else. And this, you know, it's good to drink. But you got to be careful, you know, that you don't want to um, alkaline you. There's some certain acids in your body that's necessary for your metaphysical growth. All right. All of your fruits are the fruits. Most majority of fruits are acids. Yeah. Yeah. And then you look at your ground. When your vegetables grow, you got to have a certain pH balance of acids in your in your in the, in the dirt in order for your vegetables to grow. Understand that? All right. So off that subject. All right. So be careful what you put in your gut. All right. One hundred percent brain power is what we what's, what we what we are pushing for. All right. That energy, that power, who we are as the original people, the golden race. All right. There has been war against us ever since these aliens, these Saxons, the Orientals, and their whatever other likes counterparts have been here. We have to we have to bring an end to this war, but we have to come to them in a way that they cannot defend themselves. Okay, which means that we must go the spiritual route and begin from where we left off. Because they know they can't beat us spiritually. So they're trying to instill fear in our hearts in order for us to fall back into this sleep state. It's no more fear. All right. So let's get your wands together. Let's 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 study the different woods. Like I said, you got redwood, you got a sycamore tree, you got pecan, you know, you got the um the willow oak, you got poplar, you got the um Oh, what's that? What's that other tree? The weeping willow. The weeping willow, even though and 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 you can you can get the branch from the weeping willow. All right. Because it that that tree needs a lot of freaking water. So water has high frequencies, high vibrations. Each one of these trees have their each one of these trees have got a different um, energy, a different frequency, a different vibration. And you want that frequency and vibration to become in tune with you. There were brothers and sisters in the ancient days who had several different wands. All right. The key point is believing in yourself. Believing in the energies within you. Knowing that you can tap into the all to source to the powers with that's all around you. You're being pruned for war, brothers and sisters. You're being pruned for war. All right. Nyashakura. Mm. Nyashakura. Oh, if you want to speak this English language and you feel comfortable, you speak it. Burn forever. Thinner. If you want to speak this English language, just speak it. All right, because if you're comfortable with it, I'm not no lie, but it's all about you believing in yourself. It's about you believing in yourself. You say you tell them, say implode within you. You believing in yourself and it's the power that's within you and, 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 and you got this. This is this is a weapon of spiritual properties. And this is where we come from. And then you have the scepters. We also had scepters, which are like the, and, we, and, they, were, and they were literally made of some of the most powerful woods ever, those scepters. So when you see like Gandalf on, 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 on Lord of the Rings, he had some of the most power, he had like the most powerful uh, uh, wood ever, 
which those trees have been hewn down and cut down. They don't exist anymore. All right. So the key is believing in yourself. And this wand, these wands literally are an extension of your energy. It's an extension of your energy. All right. And this is how you work. Believe in yourself. Believe in the energy within you. Know that you are the most powerful. You primordial deities, sorcerers, wizards, witches, warlocks, dark energy warriors, the ninjas, the Jedi's. I mean, come on. And we go on and on and on and on and on. All the way up to the kings and the princes and the and and the queens, the dukes and the duchesses, and they all had different levels of power. So y'all, the all these people, these beings, they had different levels of power. This is what they had. Let's get this work done. Study the different frequencies of the trees if you can get the information, because the information is so fucking hard to find. All right, I'm gonna be trying to find a chart. I want to have to do some deep study studying and searching. All right. When you study the frequencies of the trees, you can go to a tree and you can get some you can get a multimeter. What's my multimeter? Um, you can get a multimeter and you can um take the multimeter. I can't seem to find that. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> it was over here the other day. I don't know what I did with it. But you can get the multimeter and you can take the the multimeter and you can put it put it at the top side of the tree and put it at the bottom side of the tree and then you can get the 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 um the energy how much energy how much direct energy each one give off and I don't know how to do the calculations I forgot how to do the calculations of finding the frequency or the vibrations according to the direct energy. I forgot how to do the calculations, but it'll come back to me sometime soon. But this is a weapon of absolute power. All right. And there are some may assume who may say, well, you're getting you're going to get your people killed. You have to understand, understand, overstand the spirit realm outweighs the physical realm 10,000 to one. And these Saxons know this. This is why they need you to be in fear. And you're going to have some Saxon come on here and say, oh yeah, you're going to get your people killed. So y'all can see that shit. All right. Y'all tap into this energy, tap into this power. All right. I'm going to catch you guys later. We're going to talk about this a little later. I need to go get me some rest. <laughs> All right. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos ring through forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos is everything. All right. We're going to do this, brothers and sisters. We're going to do this. Grow one, grow two. You grow two, you grow four. You grow four, you grow eight. You grow eight, you grow 16. See, we can we double in numbers. All right. It's all about us returning to the knowledge of self, believing in ourselves. Your belief in yourself is the most powerful area ever. Therefore, you charge your body up to be that beacon of power and energy, that force with your enemies fear the most. When they have a gun and you have nothing, what do you have? You have the all. Therefore, you say, oh, you want to fire that gun? I am everything. And they, they try to pull the trigger and either the gun explodes on them or nothing happens. And therefore, you use the energies within you. And you know right then, once you say, I am everything, you know the power within you destroys them and the power that they thought they had. You're being proven for war. Much power to you all.